My grandparents came to the U.S. in the 1950s to a land that welcomed immigrants. This land is my land, and this land is your land. From California to the New York Islands. California was known for its nice weather, beaches, and tourism. Today it's known for poverty, gangs, and homelessness. People find it hard to call a place home when there is less peace. Is it natural for people to sleep in the streets? California now has the third highest homelessness rate in our nation. Desperate lives turn into violence and unnatural disaster. Even worse than the fire burning up the outskirts of the land. Shouldn't we all be fired up about that? From California to the New York Islands. Ellis Island reminds us that no man should be an island. Immigrants and citizens should come together to make America as attractive as it used to be. New York is a land filled with attractions and violence. Some neighborhoods are so bad, police are unwilling to enter. The cost of living is so high, people can't make ends meet, forcing them to get high to keep over the city that never sleeps. Even the highest statue in New York can't offer us, a, offer us with a sense of liberty. 9-11 left young kids without parents. Isn't it apparent that we need change? From the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Loggers wiped out 95% of our forest. Today they only exist in a few pockets of the world. Corporations don't care about these trees, they just care about filling their pockets. Redwoods are today's modern slaves. Abandoned and unappreciated until they are sold away when they are worth money. Forced to leave their souls behind and strip on their soil. From the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Like the redwoods, the ocean is also being soiled. We managed to ruin as much of it as we can, solely for our purposes. Pretty soon there's going to be no more fish to reel in, no more real fish to eat. Corporations can't swallow the fact that our oceans are dying. Money luring them into evil practices. I feel there would be no chance for do-overs. Here's some food for thought. The recipe for the ocean is as follows. 12 million tons of plastics, 100,000 cups of various chemicals, 1 million gallons of petroleum, and 20% human feces. Combined ingredients cook until globally warm and seasoned to taste. Verse five of the song says, in the squares of the city, in the shadow of the steeple, near the relief office, I see my people, and some are grumbling, and some are wondering if this land is still made for you and me. But maybe, just maybe, this land was never made for us to begin with.